Hey everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at Blood and Tears by Danzig. Uh, this was another supported request by Errol, so thank you very much, man. I hope you like this lesson. Uh, now, this song is pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. I've included two parts, two guitars, which is the uh, rhythm guitar and also the solo guitar. Uh, the tabs are going to be available at GuitarForce.com for free as usual. Um, as far as the sound, I was using, again, guitar rig. Uh, with uh, two presets, one preset for clean guitar, which was uh, Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix's uh, Little Wing, and uh, the second preset was uh, an early Eddie Van Halen, the second preset being for the uh, overdriven guitar for the solo. And as usual, I'm going to post the uh, two pictures on the screen for you to see the parameters of um, the amplifiers. And uh, while you are checking out the pictures, here is my low E string. This song is in standard tuning. I played in standard, so here is my low E for your tuning reference. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's start this lesson. Alright, so the intro part of the song goes like this. Okay, so here we're using just two chords, B minor, going to B minor 7, and also an F sharp minor, adding the uh, flat 13. Okay, so the pattern for the B minor chord goes like this. We have a B minor, we pick the 5th string, 4th, 3rd, then we have a uh, quick hammer on, a grace note uh, on the B string from 2nd fret to the 3rd okay like that then we go down uh, back to the G string pick it and then lift up the pinky and pick it one more time okay so from um, the uh, minor minor the B minor chord we're making it B minor 7 Okay, so again, one more time, the pattern for the B chord goes like this. Then we go to the F sharp minor chord, and the pattern for, for this chord is going to be like this. So we're playing 6th string, 5th, 4th, then we do the same kind of thing as we did with the B chord. On the B string we have uh, the grace note from the 2nd fret to the 3rd fret, but this time uh, we're playing, we're lifting up the finger and playing the 2nd fret of the B string as well, like that. Then we have open A string and 2nd fret on the A. So all together it's going to be like this. So basically we are back to the B chord and play it again. Now when we play this second time um, after the B minor chord we just strum the F sharp minor like that okay and basically that's the pattern um, also for the verses so it's exactly the same thing uh, they just play it like that Okay, so that's the main riff of the song, these two chords. Now, uh, when they go to the pre-chorus, it goes like this. Okay, so when they play the F sharp minor chord, they pick it like that. Sixth string, fifth string, fourth, third. Then they go down to the E string and they play two, one, open. Okay, as a passing note, and then we're in um, E minor chord, and we pick it like that, 6th string, 5th, 4th, 3rd, back down to 4th uh, and 5th. The next chord is going to be F sharp minor, exactly the same picking pattern, one more time E minor. And again, we just strum the F sharp minor chord. All right, so these are two main um, 
figures that are being played throughout the verses, intro verses. Um, I'm sure you're going to be able to put the uh, parts together, but the, these are the main parts that are being played uh, throughout the verses, and also pre-chorus. And uh, after that, we go into the chorus. Now there are two guitars there playing, and uh, the first one is kind of clean guitar playing, just chords. The first one is going to be D major, and also you can add the uh, open A string, you know, just for a thicker sound. So it's a D5. Uh, strumming pattern wise is just two strums of each chord. Then we go to B minor, to G, to F sharp minor. And we repeat one more time. Okay, so this is the first part of the chorus. And then the ending part of the chorus is going to be just G chord, uh, strumming it four times to F sharp minor. And that's it. These, that's the whole chorus. Now again, watch out for the uh, duration. Uh, the first time when they play these chorus is just twice. Uh, these four chords, uh, they play uh, uh, just twice and then finish it off with um, the G major and F sharp minor and the, the second chorus is I believe it's four times played the D, B minor, G and F sharp. Okay so just listen carefully and I'm sure you're going to be able to put them together. So basically these are, this is the rhythm uh, guitar for the song uh, with one exception in the very end of the song uh, when they play the the verse theme right when they play these chords the last one is going to be b minor but then they add the high e string all right so you just pick the whole chord and then just add the high e string and that's it Okay, so one more thing, uh, like I said, during the courses you can add also the second guitar and the second guitar is just playing power chords with a little bit of distortion and uh, for power chords you can use the D right here, then we go to B, to G and to F sharp, okay? And um, for the last part during the chorus you can add, uh, you can play the chords with on the higher register again power chords so for G it could be right here and just going down one fret and you're gonna be playing the F sharp okay but of course obviously with the distortion okay so um, there is one fill uh, after the first chorus um, and it goes like this with the clean guitar Alright, so here what we do is slide into the 4th fret on the G string, then onto the 6th fret, play it, and then we have a gradual bend and release, then we play on the D string 7 to 4. kind of quicker then we go so it's on the D string 2 open then second fret of the A string and we finish the phrase with uh, uh, you can do it two ways on the A string either fourth fret bend half step or just slide into the fifth fret and then we play 5 on low E to the second fret of low E Okay, so there are a few variations how you can use that, how you can play that. Um, the first one, like I showed you, is... You can um, play the band here. 
and then go down to the second fret of the same string. <laughs> Okay, so many variations, like I said, you can use either one of these. Alright, so now we go on to the main solo, and it sounds like this. Okay, so the first phrase from the solo goes like this. Okay, so here we slide into the 9th fret of the A string. Then we go into the D string playing 7 to 9. Adding some vibrato. Then the next part, it's a quick bend on the same note, so on the D string 9th fret with pinch harmonic. After the uh, band we go right to the 7th fret of the D string, to the 9th fret of the A, and then we continue 8, 7, 5 on A, to 7 on low E. And we slide out, okay? So the whole thing again. The next part. So after the slide, we are sliding back to the uh, fifth position on the low E string, and we go five seven on on low E, five seven on A, and from the seventh position on the A string, we slide right into the ninth fret of the A. Then we have a hammer-on pull-off on the D string 7, 9, 7, back to the A string on 9. Then we go back to the D string playing 7, 9. And then we have another hammer-on pull-off, but this time on G string 7, 9, 7. And after the hammer-on pull-off, we go right into this into this band which is on the G string 9th fret while at the same time holding the uh, high E and the B strings at the 10th fret so we have this sound then while the band is up we lift up the pinky so this is just the G string pronounced and we play 7th fret of the G to 9th fret of the D string. So one more, t one more time the whole thing. Okay, so this was slow. Of course, you want to speed it up. Um, so after that, we play uh, this part. So after the uh, seventh fret of the G string, we have a band uh, using the uh, G and the B strings at the 9th uh, fret and we use them at the same time simultaneously alright so it's a gradual band then we pick it one more time pick the 5th um, fret of the G and the B and we have a gradual band on the, on the B string 10th fret Okay, so the, again one more time, the whole thing. So when we bend the B string at the 10th fret, we then add, um, we pick it while bending it up, okay? And also add some uh, pinch harmonics here. So we have this. One more time. And if you count the bands, it's going to be 11 bands, okay? 
and add, like I said, this pinch harmonic. The last time we uh, played the, um, the 10th fret of the B string, and then we go on the G string, we go 11, 10, 9, so we have this. Then we go down to the uh, seventh fret and we play a um, double stop, which is again the G and the B strings at the fifth, at the seventh fret. Then the next part. Okay, so this is played slowly. Um, so we have a, a band on uh, the uh, ninth fret of the G and the B strings. So bend up bring it down, pull off to, uh, to the 7 and then play again 9th and then we slide from the 5th to the 7th fret again using the G and B strings and then we have this which is this double stop so on the G we have 11 on the B we have 10 we pick it two times and then we bend the uh, 12th fret of the high E string. Okay, so this might take a while, you know, to get used to the uh, to this lick because it goes kind of fast and it's a little bit out of time. Um, but once you get it, you know, it's going to be okay. So after that bend on the high E string 12th fret, we then have uh, this lick. So here we start off with. Um, 14th fret of the high E string and it's uh, um, you know using fifths here so like I said 14th fret of the high E string then 12th on B and we slide down to the 10th fret then we pick 12th fret of the high E pick um, 10th fret of the B slide to the 8th fret then we pick 10th fret of the high E 8 on B then we have a hammer on pull off 7, 8, 7 on uh, the B string then we have a pull off on G string 9 to 7 9 on uh, D and we have a band on the G string 9th fret so one more time the whole thing slowly So when we have the band up, we then add some pinch harmonic, and this is the last phrase of the solo, which is 7 on G to 9 on D, back to 7 on G. Okay. So the whole solo slowly, without stopping all the licks, goes like this. So in the very end of the song there is uh, another ad-lib guitar, a uh, lead guitar that is playing some leads, kind of small solo, and uh, just playing some a few licks. And the first one goes like this. So here we have on the G string sliding into 11th fret, then on to the B we go 10, 12, and uh, we finish it off with the 10th fret of the high E string. So this is this this is happening during the uh, last chorus. Then the next lick is like this. So just a band on the high E string, 12th fret. Then playing 10 frets of the same string. Uh, the next lick is going to be like this. So sliding into the 12th fret on the B string. 
then we play 10, 12, 10 on the high E and we bend it up on the 12th fret hold it for a while and then we have so three bends on the 12th fret the last one is bend up, bring down, pull off to 10 and then finish it off on the B string 12th fret the next lick so again same kind of idea sliding onto the 12th fret of the B string 10 uh, to 12 on the high E and we bend it up go right into the bend then again bend up pull off to 10 and then finish it off on the 12th fret so again one more time the whole thing and we finish it off actually with uh, this hammer on quick hammer on from 10 to 12 on the high E and then the last part is just some bends so the first one sliding into the 10th fret of the high E and then we bend um, the uh, 13th fret of the high E string and it's a half step bend so we have to get this note then the next bend is going to be one fret up again half step bend then we go back down two times then again um, one step up one fret up two times on the 14th fret okay just listen to the chords they're changing and you would have to change with the chords uh, the position of the notes okay and uh, so after after the uh, last two bends on the 14th fret we then finish it off with the quick hammer on onto the 14th fret of the high E string and uh, you know this is just um, ad lib guitar like I said just some lead a few licks played uh, in the end of the song alright guys so that's it for this lesson I hope you liked it if you did like it please hit the thumbs up button also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. And in the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.